Hello and welcome to Spear Center. My name is Matt Weiner. Before we begin today's telecast, the Spear family would like to send its deepest condolences to former San Jose State running back, Dijon Packer, the grieving Packer family, to all who knew him, including many of you in the San Jose State athletics community. Packer was found dead in his Milpitas home Sunday, March 13th at the far too young age of just 24 years old. Let's quickly rewind to 2019, Packer's best season as a Spartan, and what Packer would later tweet as the most memorable moment of his career. The San Jose native carried the Spartans to one of their biggest wins in program history, as he scored the game-winning touchdown late in the game against Arkansas. After graduating with a degree in health science, Packer continued to wear his hometown city of San Jose on his uniform, this time by way of the San Jose Police Department. San Jose Mayor Sam Licardo even weighed in on Twitter Monday, saying, My heart breaks for the family and many friends of San Jose Police Officer Dijon Packer. We remember him for his courageous commitment to our city. Dijon, once again, you will be severely missed. Okay, now on to San Jose State men's basketball, where for the third time in the last five seasons, the Spartans entered the Mountain West Tournament as the number 11 seed. SJSU and Fresno State traded punches for 40 minutes, plus an overtime period. The Spartans ultimately fell two points shy of their first Mountain West Tournament win. What if we told you what you're about to see is real? Yes, real as in it actually happened. It may be the wildest, most unique story that's ever hit our newsroom. But hey, when the duck quacks, the only thing right to do may be to, yes, quack right back. What if I told you a duck led a nation of Spartans, one who rides high when victorious and crumbles when defeated, a one-man army who created his own minion? What if I told you he inspired one man to abandon all dignity and step into his office for one night? As always, I appreciate Dak, the SJSU duck, for having me on board for just one night and letting me step into his office. But the biggest thank you, now that, that goes to Johnny Culberson for using his hands lathered in paint all over my body and even at times inside of my belly button. So make sure to check out the full nine minute video on the Spear YouTube. Some changes being made on the women's basketball side of things. SJSU women's basketball head coach Jamie Craighead Turner was fired this week. That announcement made by athletic director Jeff Konya. The news comes after spending nine seasons at the helm for the Spartans. Craighead Turner finishes her SJSU career with an overall record of 89 and 160. She took the Spartans to the Mountain West semifinals twice, once in 2015 and the other in 2020. San Jose State now begins its national search for a new head coach effective immediately. San Jose State women's golf team is having a great season as it is currently ranked ninth overall and coming off two huge wins at the Julie Inkster Meadow Club Invitational. All five Spartans players shot at least one round under par on Monday and on Tuesday, three Spartans finished in the top 10. Individually, Kaja Arwajul tied for fifth at three under 213, shooting a 72 in the final round. Natasha Andrea Un tied for 10th at the one under 215. Head coach Dana Dorman was thrilled with the performance, noting that the team came through in the clutch and keyed in on making huge putts at the end. Great season so far, and they hope to continue to keep the ball rolling as they play in the Mountain West View Collegiate this Friday at the Preserve Golf Club in Tucson, Arizona. The San Jose State baseball team has had an up and down season so far, but still sit one game above 500 at nine and eight. After a three game sweep against Nevada, and a one-game sweep by California. They currently sit in the middle of the Mountain West standings ahead of this week's series against San Diego State. Our Aiden Bostic has the scoop on a few names to keep on your radar ahead of the series against the rival Aztecs. The San Jose State baseball team is coming off three losses to Nevada over the weekend, and they're trying to get back on track against San Diego State this upcoming weekend. In their most recent game, Jack Colette hit a two-run home run and a career-high four RBIs. 
Danny Zimmerman added a three additional runs and Robert Hamchuk had a two run single on top of that. Hamchuk has come up big in the previous games against Nevada and he'll probably come up big against San Diego State this upcoming week. San Diego State is four and 11 on the season and San Jose State should come out on top. Softball is having a solid start to the season as they are 14 and nine and have won three of their last four games. Alyssa Graham and Trinity Edwards are knocking the seams off the softball, with both of them hitting above 390 and have a combined on base percentage of 459. Pitching has also been fantastic for the Spartans, as Janessa Ulegi, Caroline Bowman, and Lacey Hamm are combining for a 2.11 ERA and a 1.23 whip. The Spartans will begin conference play Friday against University of New Mexico, who are 18 and 7 and at one point this season had a 10-game winning streak. The three-game series will be a great measuring stick for SJSU. That's going to wrap things up from here. As we leave you today, we want to remind our audience to keep the Packer family in your thoughts and prayers. And of course, tell those close to you that you love them. For up-to-the-minute coverage on all SJSU spring sports, keep your eyes on our social media feeds at the Spear SJSU. You can also go to our website at thespearsjsu.com for more and our YouTube for our most recent podcast. Thank you for joining us, and we will see you next time.